Check this out. I ordered some americium from the internet. The americium comes in form of an old ionization smoke detector. They used to be quite common back in the day, both with americium and radium. And I even heard some old Soviet smoke detectors contain traces of plutonium. Here's the capsule and with a pair of pliers and a little force you can extract a radioactive sample from it. Even my cheap Geiger counter can detect that this thing is radioactive. But of course I wanted to know exactly what's in there and how much of it is in there. Less than 29.6 kilobecquerels of americium 241. Well thanks, that could be like 50 becquerels. It would be quite surprising if it really had 29 kilobecquerels of it. I plugged it into the Geely and you can clearly see the 60 kilo electron americium 241 line. In a previous video I determined the efficiency including the efficiency for americium. So I can now easily calculate that there is approximately 17 kilo becquerels of americium in here. 17 kilo becquerels is really something. But this is now only for the gamma rays. A smoke detector doesn't work like that. It depends on the short range of alpha particles which can be shielded by the smoke allowing the alpha particles to not make it to the detector. So the americium must be deposited on the surface allowing the alpha radiation to escape. The alpha spectrum that we can see here is very characteristic for such a sample. It's not pure americium on the surface, but it is in form of an alloy. This slows down the alpha particles from the americium. Normally you would expect a very sharp peak at 5486 kilo electron volts, but this peak is extremely broadened and shifted by about 1 mega electron volts into the low energy range. This is a clear indication that the active material is covered by something shielding it. Interestingly, the daughter nucleus, Neptunium-237, has the exact alpha energy of 4788 kilo electron volts. So I initially thought it was the daughter nucleus that we were seeing. But it's actually americium coincidentally shifted the same way that we would have seen the Neptunium. If you are wondering what this high energy peak is, that's pile up. So there really is americium in there and not just in small amounts. But I have checked the federal office of the radiation protection website and it seems that they set an upper limit of 100 kilobecquerels, assuming that the smoke detector can't be easily disassembled without destruction. The ambient dose rate 10 centimeters away cannot exceed 1 microsievert per hour. And there are even more requirements, but I really don't care. <laughs> With that being said, goodbye.